All right, today we are reacting to when evil YouTubers get destroyed by Penguin Zero. If you don't pull up to the Twitch streams, you have to. Look at all these beautiful people right here. Shout out to them. Say hi to YouTube, everyone. It's the first link in the description. Come to the Twitch. All right, let's watch this. A YouTuber who tried to manipulate him. I'm not pulling these punches. I'm not holding anything back. To shutting down a crazy vegan. Some truly unhinged insanity that made it look like he had just escaped from Arkham Asylum. Here are seven dumb YouTubers that got destroyed by Penguin Zero. Starting with one of YouTube's biggest creators, literally. Nikocado Avocado's journey from stray. veganism <laughs> to the now infamous mukbang star has captured the attention of millions. <laughs> It tastes like diabetes. I can't, it tastes like diabetes. Well, you wouldn't know what diabetes tastes like because you haven't. Penguin Zero, or Charlie, wanting to take Nick Akato's example as a YouTuber with declining health, decided to shed light on how negative attention fuels YouTubers and their need for fame, along with what they're willing to do for it. Everyone's so desperate to squeeze as much milk as possible from those beautiful honkers of internet points. In a video oh. titled, This YouTuber is Slowly himself for views, Charlie talks about Nikocado's transformation from a healthy and happy person to something Wait, out of a what black... what the fuck? Charlie talks about Nikocado's transformation from a healthy and... That used to be him? Wait, I had no clue. That's insane. I thought he like glue up for a second. I thought he just had a glow up. What happened to him, happy bro? person to something out of a Black Mirror episode. This is kind of what his content has become. Oh my god. <laughs> This is what he used to look like in 2017, and then when the videos really started to gain traction, he gained over mm. 200 pounds in the last couple of years. And it's absolutely true. It's the audience's fault for this. They created what Nakato Avocado has become. Obviously, it's not all their fault. He is making the conscious decisions to completely throw away his health and well-being. Charlie also brings to light the various disabilities Nikocado seems to be suffering from. He claims that the weight of his body has now broken a few of his ribs which now has him bedridden. I think he also claimed to now have to have a full-time nurse in order for him to just engage in day-to-day -day activities. Yo, that's you know crazy. Charlie is concerned when he's not even insulting him anymore. Enraged about his so-called haters, Nick Akato responded to Charlie's video. By the way, we're only in this video for like a couple of minutes. He didn't ask his millions of followers, don't permit him, don't make fun of his appearance, don't make his mental health upset, D send him some support for nothing. Nick Akato then went on to claim that Charlie was using his dire situation for views. Are you trying to p play the high and mighty game all on your pedestal? That you're not trying to squeeze something out of something? Yes, let's sensationalize things about me at my expense. I don't even know who you are. Charlie and Nikocado would then go back character? and forth as Charlie tried to voice his concern and offer advice, while Nikocado would react to the videos like a child throwing a tantrum. Uh, all I was saying is, the success he found with mukbangs has reinforced his decision to eat this way. You lying, hypocritical piece of crap. Don't sit here in your super superiority. Oh, I'm so articulate. I'll talk like this so that you watch me. You know, he's just trying to get views. You're trying to get views. Despite the controversy putting Nick Akato in a negative light, after a series of videos about how Penguin Zero and his fans destroyed my life, Nick Akato went back to posting the usual content. I feel like Charlie is so respected in the YouTube community that getting on his bad side is in most cases career suicide. That's... And while Penguin Zero showed at least some mercy for Nick Akato, for this next creator, that wasn't the case. From posting gameplay videos and being one of YouTube's most famous creators to being called egotistical, manipulative. Yo, chat, you know I met SSSS Sniper Wolf on Omegle when I was like 10? I, f I just remembered that. And greedy. I remember she tweeted and she was like, go on Omegle right now under her tag, and I did. That Sniper Wolf is the perfect example of if nothing is enough was a person. It all began on October 14th, 2023, when Charlie would post a video titled SS Sniper Wolf Situation is Crazy. Sniper Wolf, huge channel. She mainly does TikTok reacts, which has made her the punching bag of the internet recently. She's caught more fire than the sequel to The Hunger Games because a lot of people have been stating that what she does isn't really reacting to content, it's mainly just stealing it, freebooting it. Charlie then mentions an incident involving Jax Films, a YouTuber that took pride in reacting to SS Sniper Wolf's reaction videos and making fun of her. You know the phrase, work smarter, not harder? Well, Sniper Wolf does neither. She just steals. Allegedly, Sniper Wolf has just doxxed Jax Films. 
in an Instagram post, she posted this. And it was more than just this picture here. Apparently, she even posted one of his house. Then, in a video titled, SS Sniper Wolf's Situation Just Got Worse, Charlie expresses concerns about some of SS Sniper Wolf's videos and her questionable behavior. It's her encouraging some seemingly underage individuals what? to do some degenerate acts on video. And then she meets this girl who says that she's... Yo. I promise you, I'm not trolling. I literally met her and I, I had a camera on, but my mic wasn't working. So I was typing in the chat. It looked exactly like this. That's 16. so funny. And then agrees to show each other their boobs. And the 16 year old flashes the camera, what? which Sniper Wolf does censor, but that doesn't make it. Yo, I've never seen this. Okay. Charlie then proceeds to talk about how he senses an apology video coming from SS Sniper Wolf and also points out how YouTube hasn't taken an appropriate action on her just yet. Sniper Wolf is our turbo super creator of the year. Un unbelievable. So just like these very, very positive, pumping their fist Sniper Wolf fan tweets. I, I don't think they'd be that dumb. I, I don't think they'd be that stupid. I really think this is just like a poorly timed bad tweet from them. But in his next video, Charlie takes a close look at and criticizes YouTube's response to the ongoing drama. Off-platform actions that put others' personal safety at risk, harm our community, and the behavior on both sides isn't what we want on YouTube. That is, that is one of those things where you read it and it's like a flashbang hits you, like all your senses go out and you have to question if what you just read was real. And the so-called apology from SS Sniper Wolf that Charlie had predicted. Let me start by saying I'm sorry for my recent actions. It is inexcusable. I'm blah, blah, blah. I am not going to read that. I was about that. to skip it. It's a typical PR response, and everyone saw right through it, including Charlie. There's really nothing she can say here. What she's done is absolutely indefensible. It's also very unlikely that she's being genuine here. Like, I don't think she feels remorse for it or anything. She isn't sorry about what she did, she's just sorry that it backfired. Following Charlie's videos on her, SS Sniper Wolf's viewer numbers began to plummet. But unlike SS Sniper Wolf, who stayed on the platform and continues to post videos, this next YouTuber would go on to delete his accounts and retire from his content making career after messing with Charlie. Jason Wojo, the fake social media guru with 900,000 followers, many of which are allegedly fake, began to finally think about some of his decisions after Charlie talked about him in his video titled, This Guy Is Pathetic. But today I want to take a look at what happens when all you do is fake it without ever making it. You end up like this loser we're about to take a look at today. A guy who has become a complete parody of self-confidence, but without any level of self-awareness. It's beautiful stuff that he, he talks about. Take you for example and me, and we both pull oh up my God, and I go to your girl. People. Odds are I'm gonna take that. If you compared me to you, you're not gonna win that battle. Followed by his prediction <laughs> that Jason isn't really as wealthy funny, as he bro. shows to be. Now, why I don't believe him about the success of his business is because the only thing he shows that's worth money is his car, the McLaren. He's made like a thousand shorts about how much money he spends filling up a McLaren's tank. For the entirety of the video, Charlie went on to roast Jason's ideals that he preaches in his TikToks, claiming Jason is just living his life under false pretenses. Seeing this as an opportunity to go viral, Jason decided to turn it into a drama by commenting within just 13 minutes of Charlie's video going live. Keep giving me views, making my reaction now to this clown. And a reaction video he made. He began by bragging about the cars he owned. First of all, okay, the car is not rented. Yeah, I don't only own a McLaren. I used to have a 570 Yes, that was white. Yo, showing this guy attention was probably the worst idea. These people don't care, bro. He definitely used this to his advantage and made bank. You know how many people probably watched this reaction video and bought his course? Follow me for a while, you know this. It's a convertible drop top. He then claimed how unsuccessful Charlie is compared to him. He kind of roasted himself, considering how Charlie has a net worth of about $38 million, whereas Jason stands at a self-proclaimed $3 million. Charlie lives in your head rent-free. It's as though Jason was begging to be put in his place, and Charlie did as was expected of him in a follow-up video. He didn't look tougher, he looked even stupider. It's just one of those things where when you get offended and your defense is, I'll fight you for it, I just feel like it's a bad look. 
Honestly, getting roasted by Charlie was probably the most positive thing to happen to this man's career. Back. Jason went on to reply to this video too, getting the attention of other YouTubers who took Charlie's side to criticize the fake finance TikToker. All these criticisms were met with the same reaction videos by Jason, who thought this drama would get him the attention he craved and make him look more alpha. Instead, a month after the drama unfolded, Jason lost several thousand subscribers and followers across every single platform. Now, as dumb as Jason sounds, he would still not be the dumbest person to get destroyed by Charlie. From bullying children with cancer. Cancer is an all my- Yeah, let's skip this part. Is Nico in this? AKA prank invasion has an infamous reputation for his pranks. If you say yes to any one of the questions, I get a kiss. Are you ready? Oh, uh, hell no. You ready? Okay, you just said yeah. That's one of the questions. Come here. However, while this style of content gained him over 3.5 million subscribers, it wouldn't take long for people to find out that Chris stages all his interactions and pays the women to kiss him. He was first exposed for his scam by H3H3 Productions, following which he was temporarily banned from YouTube. But it wasn't until Chris posted this video that made a lot of famous faces in Gang, what? Kissing my actual sister? Prank? Question mark. Including Charlie talk about him. I finally got all my things back, so I owe you guys a crazy video. And in this one, I'm gonna try to kiss my sister. Yo, what was YouTube a few years ago? Yo, this is not real. This looks like a joke. Video. And in this one, I'm gonna try to kiss my sister. Grown man, by the way. He watched this back and uploaded it. And as you can see, nothing is off limits when it comes to getting YouTube views. Now, it's debated if this is real or not since all of his is fake, but wow. this one has some like proof that it's his real sister, kind of. I, I don't Dude, really what care. The it's fuck a weird is this? Are you trolling? Three. All the while proving how Chris is faking a persona for views. I don't know if I believe this. I, I'm guessing he's beating his Wait. opponents by making. I never watched this YouTube channel. Is this guy's is he still on YouTube? Prank invasion? Picking out with him until they get too erect and ejaculate and just collapse from okay, exhaustion. Wow. Sense of self-respect to quit publicly following his beef. The same can't be said about Mama Max, the infamous YouTube vigilante. My name is Max Stryker. I'm a filmmaker dedicated to empowering children. However, while Max's goal of hunting is something everyone can get behind, he's also using the topic's seriousness to shield himself and do anything he wants, often being described as manipulative, and using any tool he could get his hands on to make others do his work for him. And anyone who refused would be cancelled. I had hoped that influencers, especially those who've interacted with my content before, would step up, even if it was part of a more light-hearted stream like a Halloween special. Unfortunately, it seems that self-preservation outweighs child welfare for most influencers. This video was a follow-up to his Pick a Side YouTube the movement, fuck? where Mama Max tried forcing every big YouTuber to either agree with Max or admit they're a predator. However, things would start to go south when he uploaded a video titled This is the Greatest Cancellation of All Time, where our white knight clickbaited the audience that a universally beloved YouTuber is a potential creep. Charlie, you are a voice heard by millions. We reached out hoping for a private response at the very least. Your platform has the power to drive significant change, yet many voices remain unheard amid the digital clamor. The video is basically a call to action and a rant on Charlie not doing enough with his millions of subscribers. Mama Max's main motive was to start drama and make it seem like Charlie was getting cancelled for siding with the wrong people. But days later, Charlie would respond to Mama Max and silence him before the situation escalated. We talked like a month ago about like what he was working on in his investigation. Apparently when I had COVID, he messaged me a couple times and I never saw it. And now he's taken that as me ghosting him and ignoring his very important mission. And it really rubs me the wrong way. Making a 21 minute video because a guy stopped messaging you on Discord is wild. Max's behavior then continued to become increasingly more disturbing with the manipulation of his colleagues, not disclosing where the money he gathered for the victims went, and his lack of knowledge of the legal system. Max's abuse of power ended up costing him his credibility and reputation, with his channel not seeing a new upload for over 11 months. 
But while Penguin Zero made only one video about Mama Max, this next creator got hit multiple times. Quibble Cop, also known as Jordy, is a famous face in the world of gaming creators. But Jordy himself can be called the main culprit for killing his own channel, fueled by Charlie's expose of him. In a video titled Downfall of a Massive YouTuber, Charlie was detailing Quibble Cop's terrible move of turning himself and his channel into an AI version. If I want to build tons and tons and tons of channels that will flourish and shine forever, we need to remove the human element. Yes, it sounds <laughs> crazy, but we need robots. We need computers. That's spoken like a man who really cares about the content. If I'm to own five million channels, I realize the weakest link is... Th I'm not gonna lie, that's crazy. You don't want a video about you being made by Charlie. Interesting.